Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to me. I'll just Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning. A few showers passing across southern Nebraska, northern Kansas, mostly along and south of Interstate 80. It was a little more impressive during the six o'clock hour where there's some heavier showers and a lot more lightning. Now it's just some occasional lightning. I think these will continue to weaken as they push eastward. Uh, some debris clouds associated with it. Otherwise, the skies will be mainly sunny. It's going to turn windy and warm today. Stronger south and southeast winds. Um, that's going to bring in warmer temperatures and low-level moisture. So dew points are going to creep up today all in advance of a cold front. The cold front late this afternoon will be about right here. There's also going to be a dry line about right here. Usually it's a black dash line, but I don't have the time to change it. So I just want to show you what's going to happen is that cold front eventually overtakes the dry line later on this afternoon. But out ahead of this air in the warm sector, there is a very low end chance of severe weather tomorrow or today, this afternoon. It's not a great chance, but if something were to fire up, supercell thunderstorms a possibility. What is more likely? Supercell thunderstorms along that front and then down here to the south could fire up. Now, initially with those supercells, large hail, some, some damaging wind gusts possible, some gusty outflow or down, down, uh, 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 Downdraft winds. There we go. I'm trying to think of the name here. And then also potentially isolated tornadoes are possible. But what's going to become more likely from the late afternoon and into the evening hours as it turns into a complex or a line of storms that will then slide to the southeast pretty quickly. So here you go, 8 o'clock in the evening from north central Nebraska to southwest Nebraska. So places like Imperial, possibly McCook, Ogallala, North Platte, maybe Lexington, but probably not quite yet. Close to the Broken Bow. Thedford, Valentine, Ainsworth, O'Neill, right in this area here, showers and thunderstorms. And as these push southeast and east into the late nighttime hours after dark, they will actually strengthen. So the threat gets higher during this time frame. Tri-Cities, about a 50-50 chance at 10 o'clock. The chance is greatest right around midnight. So within a few hours of midnight is kind of the greatest possibility. And this is going to become a damaging wind gust threat, but the other threats won't be completely done. Wind-driven hail, and even we, as we've seen over the last couple of weeks on these lines of storms, sometimes we get these brief tornadoes. That is also a possibility overnight tonight. Look how that strengthens around midnight. We could be talking about potentially some significant wind damage in some locations, even into tomorrow morning, especially if you get that big push of wind. You saw it right there. Let's back this up. Look at that big push of wind from the Tri-Cities to Lincoln. Within two hours, those storms are racing east. And then they will be out of our area by tomorrow morning. Quieter weather tomorrow, we will see a breezy northwest wind, cooler temperatures, but lots of sunshine. And then tomorrow night, a quiet night, lighter winds, a few extra clouds as we get towards Saturday morning in advance of the next chance of rain and thunderstorms that'll come late Saturday and more so Saturday night. So this is a big change from yesterday morning. If you watch this forecast yesterday morning, and that is the uh, Storm Prediction Center in the last couple of days has gone from just a marginal risk now to an enhanced risk for a large part of the area. You can see the marginal risk out west here, level one out of five threat here. This is from Ogallala and Imperial, uh, right there, just a little bit east of there. Slight risk area for north central, northeast Nebraska, and back here towards McCook, North Platte, and Thedford, but a large part of our area. And again, this is as those storms make their way farther to the east into the nighttime hours, an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. Now, all modes of severe weather are a possibility. The biggest threat will be the damaging wind gust threat overnight. That's where that enhanced risk area or threat is. Significant wind gusts, possibly over 75 miles per hour. That's like a weak tornado, basically. And I say that because if you have a severe thunderstorm warning for your area tonight, treat it like a tornado warning because those kind of winds can do just as much damage as a weak tornado. So treat it like it's a tornado warning and seek shelter in a low area inside away from windows and um, in an interior room that's a smaller room like a closet or a bathroom. Along with that, there's the threat of hail, possibly over two inches in diameter, wind driven hail because of those strong winds, and even a few brief tornadoes cannot be ruled out along that line of storms. Too. We have seen this over the last couple of weeks, and we could see this again tonight. There's the tornado threat. The highest chances, again, with that line of storms as it rolls east and southeastward here in that brown shaded area. That's a 5% area. Of, that's basically a 5% chance of any one point. So if I put my arrow right there, that point right there, that's a 5% chance of a tornado occurring within 25 miles of that point. That's what that means. This is a 2% chance. Uh, it's quite right here, North Platte. 2% chance of a tornado occurring within 25 miles of North Platte. That's what that means.
hail this is a bigger threat especially in that dashed line area that black line that means significant hail it's over two inches in diameter that's a 10 percent chance of two inches or greater in diameter we could see some significant hail out there and it would be wind driven hail because the wind threat is the biggest threat that's why we have the enhanced risk for severe storms this dash line means significant which means over 75 mile per hour wind gusts are a possibility so big time wind with this system jumping ahead to saturday late saturday and saturday night the storm prediction center has southern and southeastern areas with a uh, slight risk of severe weather and then a marginal risk here to the north and west of that here is we're not going to see as good moisture return as today and tonight but there could be still some moisture return for some severe weather late in the day and into saturday night on your highest for today, it's going to be a warm and windy day. Gusts today could be as high as maybe 35 miles per hour or so, helping us warm up into the upper 70s and low to mid 80s. After uh, the storms move out tonight, we'll be down into the 40s and 50s for lows. Tomorrow will be a cooler day with uh, blustery or brisk northwest winds. Highs in the uh, mid to upper 60s up north and low to mid 70s for the rest of us. Tomorrow night, 40s and 50s for lows. And then for your Saturday, we warm up a bit, back to the 70s and even some lower 80s. Checking out the Tri-Cities extended forecast, uh, we'll be looking at, again, that chance of rain and thunderstorm. Small chance of rain this morning, slight chance late this afternoon, much better chance after dark, done well before sunrise. After a warm and windy day today, cooler, cooler but still nice and windy tomorrow. Warming back up a bit on Saturday, there's that next round of rain and thunderstorms late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Severe weather a possibility. And then as we jump ahead to Sunday, still some showers and isolated thunderstorms around during the day and maybe even into Sunday night. Monday now, I have lowered the chance of rain and thunderstorms as the chances of rain look like they're mostly going to be to our east. And with more sunshine, temperatures are trending a little warmer now for Monday and into Tuesday here. And there's the next chance of rain and thunderstorms late Wednesday and into Wednesday night. As we look at the long range temperature trends here, you can see temperatures kind of leveling off 70s and low 80s for most of our forecast here. North Platte, I didn't get the seven, the seven day forecast put together for you, but it's a fairly similar forecast. But I'll show you the seven day for, or the 10 day temperature outlook real quick for North Platte. Again, somewhat similar, not a lot of big differences between the two locations, other than an earlier start to the storms later on today. Could start as early as late this afternoon. And I think your most likely time in North Platte for storms is going to be 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we're gonna have to watch that close. But again, treat all warnings, all severe thunderstorm warnings, just like tornado warnings, and have ways of getting warnings overnight tonight. I cannot stress that enough while you are sleeping for those of you that live in central and eastern Nebraska. All right, that's all I have for you for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all again on Thursday. Take care and God bless.